Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Chris RV2 channel for another episode of Banjo Kazooie. And this time we are taking on Clanker's Cavern. I'm pretty excited to get to this. Uh, when I was a kid, one of my least favorite levels. Not even gonna lie. I did not like the stuff that we had to go like underwater for. Uh, particularly this level in Rusty Bucket Bay are not my favorite levels but uh honestly in my older age I'm, I'm actually appreciating everything this level is and it's it's really weird because i never have before <laughs> but i can i can definitely appreciate it because we get a healthy mix of being on on land and being able to move around that way as well as doing some stuff underwater. Sorry, I, I think I spaced out right there. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing that because so far we, 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 we're doing pretty good. And right there is Clanker, I mean his teeth, which is garbage grinder. Clank Clanker does not like dirty water he wants to be he wants to be above water which how 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 dare we disgrace that music note all right now let us go above water because so the fun thing about this level one of the first things you actually do have to do is free clanker because he is going to give you access to just about everything uh, there's a few jiggies we could get right now, but honestly, I always free clanker first because just the person I am, I feel bad for video game characters. That's why I did cry um, a little bit. I, 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 I opened up a little bit at the end of Undertale on the pacifist run. I shed some manly tears over fictional characters, but you know what? That just means those characters affected me in some way, and honestly, in a way I never expected them to. Alright, hold on, I'm just going out of order here. We're going to be playing a dangerous game, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be called Not Grabbing the Air Bubbles Until We Probably Should. Alright, so right there is one... Alright. Alright, we gotta remember these noises too. Because we will be quizzed on this later. I feel like whenever I tell people, it's like, yeah, this is like one of those games where, games where you gotta kind of like remember everything as you go, and they're like, there's so much, and it's like, yeah. It's the point. Alright, so if we don't, we are going to drown. We need to grab. Alright, alright, actually, hold on, wait, I got a strat, I got a pro strat. Look at that. Jiggy. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta grab that bubble. And then we grab that music note because I do not want to come back down here again. Alright, now we are doing a risky game. It's called Try Not to Die. <laughs> Alright, nope, nope, we're good. We're good. We got it, we got it. We're good, we're good. Look at that. Professional. Jump. Grab me. No, jump. 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 Grab that and leap. Now we gotta help. Now we gotta help Clinker! With his teeth! 
I'm gonna go ahead and do this because I'm that kind of person. Here we go. Gotta grab those mumble skulls as we go because that's just gonna make every that's just gonna make life easier in the later levels. When the cost of the transforming is ridiculously high. Because, you know, Mumbo, he, he likes the, his skulls, man. He likes his skulls. And Homeboy is not gonna... He, he, does, he doesn't barter. He's like, yo, I want this many. If you don't give me this many, no. I'm just not gonna do it. You know what? That is entirely... Oh, okay. I was about to say, if I don't get it on that, I have to dip out and go back. Again, thank God we're not speedrunning. Because that would just be... That, that would be like a reset the run. Alright, so I meme about that a lot, but... I do see speedrunners, if they don't nail a certain technique perfect, perfectly, they, they, they just reset. And it's like, it, like it makes sense though. Because if you're speedrunning, like, you gotta do everything precise. Like, everything is, like, frame data. Like, that's why I could never do it, because I don't take the time to study frame data like that. Which is probably why I'm kind of like, like, I'm better than casual in smash but i'm not like next level with it like i could be i'm pretty sure if i took the time to learn frame data i would i would be better but alas here we are all right there we go They go out this way because we got a mumbo skull on the other side. Just trying to make sure I get everything as we go here, people. Actually, you know what? Nah. Because there's two ways we gotta go about doing that. Oh no, I messed up. Alright, come on. We're gonna get it one day. We're gonna get it one day. Shoot me back up, Clanker. Do it! There we go, baby! Up and right on it. Ba -ba -dum -ba. Uh -huh. Banjo, you're the man. And don't mind if I do. And there's that. So we're supposed to do this with the... Oh, dude, I was about to get so hyped. You don't really need the invincibility, but it, it, it does help. It does help. Which we will be right back into this area. There's just something we gotta do real, real quick. And that's get a new move. Right, this move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool. Does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Sorry, I had a disgusting burp right there. Oh, and it happened again. Alright. So it requires gold feathers, and you can only carry ten of them. Here, take these five. So, I don't know if that's what they- if they did that on purpose, uh, for Smash Ultimate, but, uh, everybody's favorite move, Wonder Wing, only has five uses. 
And believe it or not, I did see somebody defending Arsene and say that Wonder Wing is incredibly broken. And I was like, you know what? I would accept that, but the fact that Joker literally gets carried by by Arsene, like he just getting bodied like the whole match, and then the next thing you know, like Arsene just like hits you three times, and you're like you're like you lost like two stocks. I'm like sure, but Wonder Wing, literally like I have five uses, and then I'm done. Like it, like I can't do anything after that. Like, I don't have, like, I'm just out a move. Like, I can't do anything. And, and then they're like, well, yeah, that, that's because they had a balanced banjo out. And I'm like, exactly. Why don't we have ten uses? And they're like, because that would be broken. And I'm like, but Arsene exists. As long as Arsene e exists, I will probably just refrain from playing against- if I have to play against Joker, man, I'll just leave. I'd rather just leave at that at that point. Because I'd rather just not, not have that matchup, but interestingly enough, though, uh, when I was a kid, Nintendo 64, I was honestly, when I saw four slots, I was like, Banjo has to be one of them. So, like, so, little Christopher was was so excited that Banjo could probably be there, and then when I didn't see him in 64, I was like, ooh, there's a chance for him to be in Melee, and then he just wasn't there. And then I just stopped having hope. <laughs> as sad as it is. Alright, so, so we are already at one Jiggy left that's not a Jinjo, and I know exactly where it is. Is this level a lot easier than I actually remembered it? Then again, this is probably like the smooth, smoothest run I've had on Clanker's Cavern. Minus a little bit of the unnecessary hiccups, but honestly... Dude, we're thooming out here. Thooming. Okay, grab those music notes, man. 73. Although, yes, I do need to go down there. Yo, hold that. Alright, so the blue Jinjo... If we can nab him, this will be easy. Which we go ahead and do right now. So now we really only have easy street left. Alright, let's pop back up for air because I don't I don't mess around with air as a resource. I've learned that at a young age that uh, playing with the air is not exactly something you should strive to do in any form of game because it's just not good. You will get bodied from that and that alone. Stupid mutants, are we? Ow. Double kill. All right, let's get, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Your prize. Yeah, so it's so it's funny. I had some. I, I had one of my friends ask me. He was like, "Dude, you're, dude, you're playing banjo for uh, for a uh, YouTube." And I was like, "Absolutely right, sir." And he goes, "Uh, yo, thank you." And I, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I was like, it's, it's, it's no big deal, man. It's a nostalgia blast for me, just as much as it is anybody else." And honestly, that's. That's all I kind of kind of wanted was to just give everybody a throwback game, because the next game I have planned, let me tell you, I am not looking forward to. But you know what? If I did it with Cuphead, I I can force myself through this game. 
And I think y'all are gonna really enjoy the next game. Hopefully. Because it's gonna take us a little bit longer on that game. And that's kind of something I'm looking forward to. Is not necessarily having a game like I could just essentially see how fast I can get through the game. Or just like some something to do. Uh, oddly enough, one of the other reasons why I'm making this series is so that way my uh, niece, whenever she asks me to play Banjo, uh, she, she can just watch this at any time. She doesn't necessarily have to wait to just ask me. But she could just keep. She she could just go back and watch because she does enjoy uh, watching. She does enjoy watching people play this game, and it's really unique to see because she was about the same age I was when I first started taking my journey through through this uh, beautiful, fantastic game. And just seeing her enjoy it as much as I did when I was when I was that age, it's something. It's a feeling that like I feel like really just transcends time. Because like like I've been I've been saying for a long while now, um, out of the out of all the games that are being re-released and being like updated and all that, getting their their HD remasters. I definitely believe Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie could benefit the most out of out of out of this because generally speaking, this game still holds up to today, and that's the part that really amuses me is just as a platformer how solid this this game really is. And the fact that it's still like on that list of just platformers that are just they're that's still just generally good no matter how old you are like speed running taking your time to play it like it there's a lot of good values in it and I definitely feel like if they came out with like a double pack that would definitely do the game a lot of benefit especially because not everybody's gonna have an Xbox I mean, like, even if they do, like, here it is. Like, like you could just go to the marketplace, get the rare replay, and be fine. You get Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, and Nuts and Bolts. The one we don't speak of. But, um, but yeah, I definitely feel like, like if this game were to get remastered and put on the Switch and the Xbox, I would probably honestly get it for, for my Switch over the Xbox. Just because, like, I... It's just, like, everything. <laughs> like, like, I, like, my ties are to Nintendo. Like, I love Nintendo properties. And that's why, why we're going to be seeing a lot of them here on the channel. Because, I, at the end of the day, I am a Nintendo kid. Do I agree with some of the things they're doing now? No. But... It, it, it plays a large part of my childhood. But I 100% believe out of any game, classic game that deserves a remake, it's definitely this one. It deserves a fresh coat of paint because seeing what what they did for the stage of uh, on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for for Spiral Mountain, if they could do that for like the rest of the game, oh my god, it'd be the prettiest game of all time. Especially seeing like some like the updated character models and such. Are you kidding me? Like, bro, that would be amazing. Now I gotta remember. Yes, I did. Okay, yes. I 100% did open up Bubble Gloop Swamp. So we're gonna go ahead and get there and we'll be good to go. Because I don't want to waste y'all time. I don't want to waste y'all's time. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get there. Actually, wait. There's something we gotta do before because I did do this on stream. I can I hit the switch and then forgot to do this, and then every time I'm like, wow, her eyes are still up. It's because I didn't hit the button. One, two. And there we go. Look at that. 
Secret Jiggy, number four. Well, Lair Jiggy, number four. It's a wonderful time to be alive. T posing Grunny. Dude, look at that. Dude, the. Look what they did. They were like, yo, we're gonna. The people are gonna come in. And Grunny's gonna be T posing. She's asserting that dominance. She's like, yo, yo, you want your sister? Be more dominant than I. It didn't rhyme at all, so that's not what she would say. But it's not the point. Ah, uh, yes, we did open a bubble loop swamp, and this one is actually low key like one of my favorite levels. I'm thinking of after we do this, I might make a level tier list. Because Bubble Gloop Swamp, definitely yes. Definitely yes. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for the series today. Uh, that was Clinker's Cavern done in less than 20 minutes, which is actually pretty good. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you're enjoying this series, if you're enjoying this nostalgic throwback, let me know by leaving a like. Consider subscribing for some more awesome variety content. Keep dominating your paths, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.